I welcome you by YouTube channel VAT the Best Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I teach you the simple aircraft evaporative refrigeration systems. In this video, we will learn the introductions of the system, its various component, how to throw TS diagrams, and find out the equation of the COP for the simple aircraft refrigeration systems. Introduction is that the simple aircraft refrigeration system is the modification of the simple aircraft refrigeration systems just one word is that that is a evaporative okay in the simple aircraft ref, ref, aircraft evaporative refrigeration system there is a five component compressors heat exchangers evaporative heat exchangers turbine is exhaust fans and a cabin now we understand this all the component one by one drawing the one by one lines on the TS diagram so first this is the cell of the aircraft so this system is used in the aircrafts ok so here I draw put the one image of the aeroplanes on these wings of the aeroplanes this is a wings this is another side wings on this wing there is a one circular portion is provided that you already seen in this circular portion there is a gas turbine power plant is there in the gas turbine power plant there is a three component compressor combustion chambers and turbines this turbine produces though some work and by using this work the aeroplane is getting the powers and it's the flight look at this cell this is a air compressor so this air compressor we already use in our aircraft evaporative refrigeration systems so our diagram is the start from the cell of the aircraft okay so you know that its aircraft is flying at the high altitude at the high altitude pressure is lower so just we increase pressure of the atmospheric air available at the high altitudes by using this diffusers okay this is the atmospheric air outside the aeroplanes is supplied into these diffusers in these diffusers the pressure is increased this atmospheric air pressure is increased up to the pressure P2 so atmospheric air at the point number 1 and after this diffuser air available it is known as the point number 2 and this outlet air from the diffusers it's known as the ramming air so 1 to 2 process is the isentropic compression process isentropic means entropy is remains constant and during this compression the pressure is increased pressure increased and temperature is increased temperature increased that means it is an isentropic means entropy is remains constant so it is a ts diagram on the y axis it is a temperature on the x axis it is entropy so here this point both are zero when we move toward the right side entropy value is increased when we move into the upper directions the temperature is increased so first we draw the constant pressure line at the atmospheric pressure on the TS diagram the constant pressure line is drawn as the curve line this line is indicate the constant pressure during constant pressure that is a different value of the temperature and pressure at the different point on these lines ok so we putting the point number 1 on the P1 line so here the point number 1 where the point number 2 is coming it is an isentropic means entropy is constant this line may be vertical or a horizontal sorry vertically vertical moving in upward directions or vertically coming in downward directions but our case the it is a compression process during the compression temperature is increased so our line is moving into the upper direction and the outlet pressure is the P2 isentropic that's why it is a vertical vertical but moving in which direction upward or downwards it is beside temperature is increased or temperature is reduced during compression temperature is increased that why we throw in this line into the upper directions up to the pressure P2 and it is the point number 2 then after this ramp air is supplied into the compressor it is known as the main compressors in this compressor the process is takes place the process 2 to 3 in this compressor the pressure of the air is increased and the process 2 to 3 is known as the isentropic compression isentropic means entropy constants temperature is increased pressure is increased and 
the entropy remains constant. If you want to know how to draw the symbol of compressor and turbine, then the link is provided on the top right screen of your mobile screens and also provided into the descriptions. Now we draw these two to three lines on the TS diagram. Constant entropy that means it's vertical, either upward or downward. It is an upward direction because it is compression, temperature is increased, and this pressure P3 is drawn as the here horizontal line. Okay. So pressure is increased from P2 to P3, temperature is increased, increased from T2 to T3 and S2 is equal to S3. Okay, when we take the projection on the x-axis, it is the same point is coming, that is S2 is equal to S3. Then this compressed air at the high pressure, it is supplied into the heat exchangers. Now here it is a heat exchangers and this compressed air coming out from the compressor is supplied in the these compressors are in the heat exchanger sorry it is and supplied into the heat exchangers heat exchanger means exchanging the heat for exchanging we require some other medium outside these tubes so we supplying the air from the cell of the aircraft so here the ramp is avail ramp air is available this ramp air is supplied in this heat exchangers so this air temperature is lower compared to the air coming out from the compressor they are exchanging the heat means this ramp air is absorb the heat energy from the compressed air okay and here we put the one fan to exhaust out this air cold air available in these heat exchangers that means the force circulation is takes place so process 3 to 4 it is a heat exchanger then we assume that is a constant pressure process and it rejecting the heat means temperature is reduced when the temperature is reduced the entropy is reduced so where is the point number four is come constant pressure line is drawn as the curve line so first we draw one curve line here okay so it is moving upward or downwards temperature is reduced that means line is coming downward sides and entropy is reduced then it is also coming downward sides okay that means left side and bottom sides because temperature is reduced Entropy is reduced. So point number four is come on these lines. That is a process three to four. Then after this cold air is supplied into the evaporative heat exchangers. Now what happened in the evaporative heat exchangers? In these evaporative heat exchangers, we cool the air by using the water. Okay. Here the water is filled outside these tubes so water is heated and some thin water or vapor is out so this temperature of the air is more reduced compared to the simple aircraft refrigeration system means more cooling is produced by this system compared to the simple system so the water is absorbed the heat that is air passing from these heat exchangers or evaporative heat exchangers Okay, the water is evaporates that's why it is known as the evaporative heat exchangers and this is simple heat exchangers because it's cooled by the air and no other is evaporation is takes place so it is process 4 to 5 that is isobaric heat absorption process isobaric means constant pressure so again the pressure is same as the pressure p3 okay cooling is done temperature is reduced Entropy is reduced. So again line is moving on to the left side and down directions. That is process 4 to 5. That is isobaric heat rejection in evaporative heat exchangers. Then this cool air is supplied into this turbine. And in turbine the process 5 to 6 is takes place. It is known as the isentropic expansion process. Isentropic means entropy is remained constant. Due to expansion, this turbine is produce some work and the work produced by the turbine is supplied into this fan of the heat exchangers. Okay, so work done supplied by the turbine is used to run this exhaust fan. This is the exhaust fan and it's exhausting the air from these heat exchangers. And it is known as the four circulations of the heat exchangers. Now we draw the five to six process on the TS diagram. Isentropic expansion means entropy at the point 5 and 6 is same. Expansion is done, then the pressure is reduced. 
and temperature is also reduced the expansion in the turbine is takes place up to the cabin pressure because the air coming out from the turbine is supplied into the cabin so this cabin pressure is between to the atmospheric pressure and the pressure after the ramming air okay and at the high altitude the atmospheric pressure is lower than the 1.01325 bar and we require 1.0135 bar so this our cabin pressure line pc is coming to above to the p1 line so expansion is takes place from the p5 to p6 and vertical line in downward because isentropic expansion then after the air available at the point 6 is supplied to the cabin and the cabin condition is the point number 7 in the cabin that is a person traveling is seated or the some equipments that creating the heat energy so this ramp air sorry cooled air from the turbine is supplied to the cabin where we require the cooling so this air is absorb the heat from the cabin where we require to the cooling so at the constant pressure and constant pressure means it is a cabin pressure is our constant pressure at the constant pressure it absorb the heat that means temperature is increase temperature is increase entropy is increase so line is moving on to the right side from the point 6 and upper directions upper direction indicate temperature is increase right side indicate the entropy is increase so it is a 6 to 7 process and 1 and 7 point is not close because it is the open system we keep taking the continuous pressure and this air also out from this cabin so it is under open systems now we find out the equation of the cop and the equation for the various process for starting from the process 1 to 2 running of the air it is an isentropic process then we use this equation where the isentropic process is come you just use these equations for finding out the t2 T two upon T one is equal to P two upon P one raised to gamma minus one upon gamma. If T one and P two is given, T one is also given. You are able to find out the T two. If the pressure is not given and the velocity of the aircraft is given, then we applying the steady flow energy equations to the diffusers. That is, H two minus H one is equal to velocity energy square divided by two into one thousands. So enthalpy difference on the right side that is in kinetic energy. Enthalpy difference is put as the Cp delta T. So Instead of H two minus H one, we put the Cp T two minus Cp T one, and Cp is taken common. So Cp in bracket T two minus T one, it is put at here, and we write down the equation of the T two. So T two is equal to T one plus velocity squared divided by two into one thousand into the specific heat Cp. And process two to three isentropic compressions. In the compressor, we supply the work done. It is denoted as W C, and work done is equal to M Cp T three minus T two, and after air is supplied into the heat exchangers. In the heat exchanger, we rejecting the heat at the constant pressures. It is known as the three to four. The Q R is equal to M C P T three minus T four. This equation is indicate how amount of the heat rejected to the atmosphere. Then isobaric heat rejection in the evaporative heat exchangers. A kind Q R is equal to M C P T four minus T five. Next, isentropic expansions in the turbine. That produce some work done, and by using this work done, we run the exhaust fans of the heat exchangers. W T is equal to M C P T five minus T six. Then process six to seven isobaric heat absorptions in the cabin. So it is denoted as Q S refrigerating effect M C P T seven minus T six. Next, we find out the C O P. C O P means output upon input. Our output is this. heat absorptions in the cabin or it is known as the refrigerating effect and it is divided by the work done that work done supplied to the compressors it is a wc okay so we writing is the cop it's the output upon input output is refrigerating effect or it is known as capacity input is the power supplied to the compressors so we putting the equation of capacity mcp it is 7 minus t6 divided by power supplied to the compressor mcp t3 minus t2 T two. This is the equation of the COP, and this video is end here. Thank you for watching this video. If you learn something, then like the video, subscribe my channels, and share with your friends. Thank you for watching the video.